Yes. That will not be necessary. I will be perfectly all right. As one of classic television's most beloved shows, The Honeymooners has left an indelible mark on audiences with its unforgettable characters and enduring humor. Among the show's standout performers was Joyce Randolph, who brought the lovable Trixie Norton to life. However, few knew that Randolph harbored a secret during her time on the show. In this video, we uncover the untold stories from the set of The Honeymooners, as revealed by Joyce Randolph herself. Prepare to delve into the fascinating world of this classic sitcom and discover the secrets that have been hidden for decades. So, let's get started. Never was. I know why you married me, Alice. I know why you married me. Joyce Randolph's entry into The Honeymooners was a happy accident. She was discovered while starring in a commercial for Breath Mints when Jackie Gleason himself gave her a call to audition. This marked the beginning of her journey as Trixie Norton in the iconic TV series. Randolph's portrayal of Trixie brought depth and humor to the show, making it a classic in American television history. Her character, Trixie, was the wife of Ed Norton, played by Art Carney, and the best friend of Alice Cramden, portrayed by Audrey Meadows. The four of them formed the main cast of the show, which revolved around their humorous interactions and everyday struggles in a working-class neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. Randolph's performance in The Honeymooners was a testament to her acting prowess, and her contributions to the show are still cherished by fans today. Be a small charge of a buck an hour. You would charge me a dollar an hour? That's right, a buck an hour, and I don't do no The production of The Honeymooners was characterized by its unique approach to rehearsals. In contrast to many other TV shows of the time, the cast of The Honeymooners had minimal rehearsals before filming. This lack of rehearsal time created a sense of spontaneity and unpredictability that added to the show's charm. Despite being filmed live with an audience, Jackie Gleason, the star and creator of the show, preferred to keep rehearsals to a minimum. He believed that the natural chemistry and timing of the cast would shine through more brightly if they were not over-rehearsed. This decision paid off, as the cast performances were consistently fresh and lively, making the show a hit with audiences. The minimal rehearsal time also meant that the cast had to rely on their instincts and trust each other's timing. This created a sense of camaraderie and collaboration that was evident in their performances. The cast's ability to work together seamlessly, despite the lack of rehearsal time, was a testament to their talent and professionalism. In addition to the minimal rehearsals, the show was also known for its lively and engaged studio audience. The audience's laughter and reactions were an integral part of the show, adding to its energy and charm. The live audience also helped to create a sense of excitement and unpredictability as the cast had to respond to the audience's reactions in real time. Overall, the production of The Honeymooners was marked by a unique approach to rehearsals and a lively studio audience. These factors contributed to the show's success, making it a beloved classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. First name. It's just Tony and George and Bill and Frank and Pete and Alice. <laughs> In the 1950s, a groundbreaking TV series called The Honeymooners took center stage, captivating audiences with its unique blend of humor and relatable characters. The cast, including Art Carney and Audrey Meadows, formed a tight-knit group that worked closely together, often rehearsing to perfect their timing and performances. Despite Jackie Gleason's minimal involvement in rehearsals, the cast managed to create magic on set. The atmosphere on set was one of high tension and rapid pace, which could be overwhelming for newcomers. In fact, one actor was so nervous that they vomited before their scene. However, this pressure seemed to bring out the best in the cast, resulting in a show that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact. Art Carney, who played the lovable Ed Norton, was particularly close with Audrey Meadows, who played his on-screen wife, Trixie. The two often rehearsed together, perfecting their comedic timing and delivery. Despite the challenges they faced, the cast remained dedicated to their craft, creating a show that would become a classic in television history. The camaraderie and teamwork of the cast were crucial to the success of The Honeymooners. Despite the pressure and tension, they worked together to create a show that has stood the test of time. Their dedication and hard work paid off, resulting in a show that continues to be cherished by audiences today. <laughs> In the iconic 1955 TV series, The Honeymooners, Jackie Gleason was undoubtedly the star of the show. However, the talents of Art Carney and Audrey Meadows should not be underestimated, as they played pivotal roles in the show's success. While Meadows' character, Alice Cramden, 
had a smaller part compared to her male counterparts. She acknowledged the significant roles of Carney and Gleason. Carney, who played Ed Norton, was more than just Gleason's sidekick. His comedic timing and physical comedy skills were instrumental in carrying the show. In fact, Carney's talent was so remarkable that he won five Emmy Awards for his portrayal of Norton. On the other hand, Gleason, who played Ralph Cramden, was known for his larger-than-life personality and comedic prowess. He was a master of his craft, but his relationship with the rest of the cast was complex. While he was respected for his talent, some cast members found him distant and not easy to communicate with. Despite these challenges, the cast of The Honeymooners worked together to create a captivating and enduring television classic. The show's humor and relatable characters have resonated with audiences for generations, leaving a lasting impact on television history. It is a testament to the talent and hard work of all the cast members, including Gleason, Kearney, and Meadows, that The Honeymooners remains a beloved and cherished part of our cultural landscape. Would you rub the back of my neck for me? It feels like it's broken. Sure, it's Audrey Meadows, known for her role as Trixie Norton in The Honeymooners, chose not to reprise her part when the series was revived in various formats. Instead, she decided to settle in New York, dedicating her time to her family, and occasionally looking back on the profound impact of the show. As the only surviving cast member, Meadows continues to be recognized primarily for her role in this classic television series. Despite her extensive career in theater and early television, Meadows' portrayal of Trixie Norton left an indelible mark on audiences, making her a household name. Although she pursued other acting opportunities in theater and television, it was her role in The Honeymooners that resonated most deeply with viewers. Her character, Trixie, was the glue that held the show together, providing both humor and a touch of reality to the comedic situations. Despite the show's limited run, The Honeymooners has transcended the boundaries of its time becoming a classic television series that continues to captivate new audiences. Meadows' performance as Trixie has become an essential part of television history, inspiring future generations of actors and entertainers. As the only remaining cast member, Meadows' legacy as Trixie Norton is a testament to the enduring power of classic television. Her contributions to the show have left an impact that has resonated with audiences for decades, making The Honeymooners a beloved part of television history. Meadows' portrayal of Trixie Norton has become an intriguing part of the cultural landscape, inspiring analysis and appreciation from fans and critics alike. Her character's strength, resilience, and humor have become a significant part of the show's lasting appeal, making The Honeymooners a classic that continues to be watched and enjoyed by audiences today. In conclusion, Audrey Meadows' role as Trixie Norton in The Honeymooners remains an essential part of her career and the show's lasting legacy. Despite her extensive work in theater, in early television, it is her portrayal of Trixie that has left the most significant impact on audiences. As the only surviving cast member, Meadows' legacy as Trixie Norton is a testament to the enduring power of classic television and the show's ability to captivate new audiences for generations to come. Six months, I'll be dead. Joyce Randolph, the actress who played Trixie Norton in the classic 1950s TV series The Honeymooners, has recently expressed her approval for a new web series inspired by the show. The pandemic-era series, titled The Honeymooners, has caught the attention of Randolph, who appreciates its concept and wishes the team behind it well. The Honeymooners was a groundbreaking sitcom that followed the lives of two working-class couples living in Brooklyn, New York. The show starred Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden, Art Carney as Ed Norton, Audrey Meadows as Alice Cramden, and Joyce Randolph as Trixie Norton. The Honeymooners is a modern take on the original series, set in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. The show follows two couples as they navigate the challenges of living in close quarters during a time of social distancing. While the setting and circumstances are different, the heart and humor of the original series remain. Randolph's endorsement of The Honeymooners is a testament to the enduring appeal of The Honeymooners, the show's themes of friendship, love, and perseverance in the face of adversity continue to resonate with audiences today. As the Honeyzoomers team continues to create new episodes, they can take comfort in knowing that they have the support and approval of one of the original series stars. Who knows, perhaps Randolph herself may even make a cameo appearance in the future. Ralph, last night I found a lot of it was written by a pretty big man. The Honeymooners, a 1950s TV series, was a groundbreaking show that left a significant impact on popular culture. 
It followed the lives of two working-class couples, the Cramdons and the Nortons, living in Brooklyn, New York. The show was known for its humor, relatable characters, and realistic portrayal of blue-collar life. During its time, The Honeymooners received critical acclaim and was a hit among audiences. Its innovative approach to comedy and its memorable characters, such as the quick-tempered Ralph Cramden and his long-suffering wife Alice, made it a classic. The show's impact on popular culture is evident in the numerous spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that followed. In the years since its initial run, The Honeymooners has inspired a radio series, a comic strip, a board game, and even a Broadway musical. The show's enduring popularity has also led to the creation of several spin-offs, including a 1960s TV series and a 1970s animated series. Moreover, The Honeymooners has had a significant influence on the entertainment industry as a whole. Its innovative approach to comedy and its relatable characters have inspired countless other TV shows and films. The show's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, and its impact on popular culture is undeniable. In conclusion, The Honeymooners was a groundbreaking TV series that left a lasting impact on popular culture. Its innovative approach to comedy, memorable characters, and realistic portrayal of blue-collar life made it a classic. The numerous spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that followed are a testament to the show's enduring popularity and influence. Yes, they won't give me any more credit down there at the store. I got 18 accounts going already. No, 19. I bought a war. The creation of the Honeymooners television series in 1955 was a significant moment in TV history. Each character was carefully cast, ensuring the perfect blend of humor and chemistry. Jackie Gleason, the show star, was an established comedian and actor. Having already worked with Gleason on his variety show, CBS executives saw the potential in creating a sitcom around his popular character, Ralph Cramden. Art Carney, who played Ralph's best friend Ed Norton, was a last-minute addition to the cast. Initially, Gleason wanted Frank Fontaine for the role, but after a successful screen test with Carney, the decision was made. Their undeniable chemistry solidified the duo as one of TV's most beloved comedic pairs. Audrey Meadows, who portrayed Ralph's wife Alice, wasn't the first choice for the role. Joyce Randolph, who played Ralph's neighbor Trixie, was initially considered for the part. However, Meadows' audition impressed Gleason, and she was offered the role. Prior to the audition, Meadows had watched every episode of the show's earlier sketches to study the character. She arrived at the audition dressed as Alice, surprising Gleason and the producers. This level of dedication paid off, as Meadows became the perfect counterbalance to Gleason's over-the-top performance. Randolph, who played Trixie, was cast after auditioning for the role of Alice. Although she didn't get the part, the producers saw her potential and created the character of Trixie specifically for her. The casting of the Honeymooners was a crucial part of the show's success. Each actor brought their unique talents and chemistry, creating a timeless sitcom that continues to entertain audiences today. Now, who are you? <laughs> the Honeymooners, the 1955 TV series, was brought to life by director John Gibbons, Known for his comedic touch, Gibbons approached the show with a vision to highlight the everyday struggles and humor of working-class New Yorkers. His creative influences included the vaudeville tradition and the fast-paced rhythm of city life. Gibbons' directorial style was characterized by his ability to capture the nuances of his character's interaction. He often used long takes, allowing the actors to build their performances and the audience to fully engage with the situation. This approach was particularly effective in the famous sketch comedy scenes of the Honeymooners. Collaboration was key to Gibbons' process. He worked closely with the show's creator, Jackie Gleason, and the cast, which included Art Carney, Audrey Meadows, and Joyce Randolph. Gibbons encouraged improvisation, fostering a relaxed and creative atmosphere on set. This collaborative spirit is evident in the show's iconic humor and the genuine camaraderie between the characters. Gibbons' vision for the Honeymooners was not just about laughter. He aimed to portray the dreams, frustration, and resilience of his characters, making them relatable and endearing to the audience. His approach to storytelling, characterized by its warmth and humanity, has left a lasting impact on television comedy. Now, the obvious therapy is the removal of the mental block from a patient's subconscious mind. You follow me? The Honeymooners, a classic 1950s TV series, was filmed primarily in New York City. The show's creators chose to film in the bustling city to capture the authentic essence of urban life. The production faced several logistical challenges, such as securing permits for outdoor filming 
and coordinating with the city's traffic and public transportation schedules. The set design for the Honeymooners was simple yet effective. The show took place mainly in a small apartment, which was designed to look like a typical working class home in Brooklyn. The set was built on a soundstage, allowing the production team to control the environment and create a consistent look for the show. One innovative technique employed during the production of the Honeymooners was the use of multiple cameras. This allowed the crew to capture the actors' performances from multiple angles, providing greater flexibility in the editing process. This approach was relatively new at the time and helped to give the show a more cinematic feel. The Honeymooners also made use of early videotape technology, which was still in its infancy during the 1950s. This allowed the production team to record and playback footage, making it easier to review and edit the show. This was a significant improvement over previous methods, which relied on film that had to be developed and printed before it could be reviewed. Despite the challenges, the production team behind The Honeymooners was able to create a show that has endured for decades. The show's relatable characters, witty writing, and groundbreaking production techniques have made it a beloved classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. Police? What are you talking? Don't you hear what I'm calling the other one, Ziggy? They're from the investment company, Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Ziggy. <laughs> The creation of a musical score and soundtrack is a crucial aspect of setting the tone and mood for any television series, including the classic 1950s show The Honeymooners. The music complements the narrative and emotional tone of the show, enhancing the viewer's experience. For The Honeymooners, the composers and musicians work together to create a cohesive and fitting score. The show's main theme, composed by Ray Block, is a jazzy and upbeat tune that sets the tone for the lighthearted and comedic episodes. The use of brass and woodwind instruments adds a touch of playfulness, while the fast tempo keeps the energy high. The soundtrack also features various songs and instrumental pieces that play during the episodes. These selections were carefully chosen to complement the action on screen and enhance the emotional impact of the scenes. For example, a slow and melancholic tune may play during a sentimental moment, while a more upbeat and lively piece may accompany a humorous scene. According to the composers and musicians involved, the key to creating a successful score and soundtrack is to understand the show's tone and the characters' personalities. For the Honeymooners, the music had to reflect the working class, blue-collar world of the main characters, Ralph and Alice Cramden, and their friends, Ed and Trixie Norton. The use of big band and jazz elements, popular during the 1950s, helped to establish the show's setting and add authenticity. In addition to the main theme and incidental music, the Honeymooners also featured guest appearances by notable musicians of the time. These performances added another layer of entertainment and cultural relevance to the show. In conclusion, the musical score and soundtrack of the Honeymooners played a significant role in establishing the show's tone and enhancing the viewer's experience. The composers and musicians worked together to create a cohesive and fitting score, carefully selecting music that complemented the action on screen and the personalities of the characters. The use of popular music and guest appearances by notable musicians of the time further added to the show's appeal and cultural significance. Right? Yes, he was. That's my fault. I had a gone ball. The Honeymooners, a 1950s TV series, is known for its memorable and iconic scenes. One such scene is the famous manhole cover episode, where Ralph Cramden, played by Jackie Gleason, threatens to send his wife Alice portrayed by Audrey Meadows to the moon during an argument. Director Frank Staff expertly captures the intensity of the moment, using close-ups to highlight the character's facial expressions and body language. The use of low-key lighting adds to the dramatic tension, casting long shadows, and creating a sense of foreboding. Gleason's performance is a tour de force as he masterfully balances humor and anger. His exaggerated gestures and facial expressions are a testament to his comedic prowess Meanwhile, Meadows holds her own, delivering a nuanced performance that showcases her character's strength and resilience. The impact of this scene on audiences is undeniable. It has become one of the most memorable moments in television history, cementing the Honeymooners' place in the annals of TV greatness. In an interview, Gleason reflected on the scene, stating, It was a moment of pure comedy and drama, all wrapped up in one. I think that's what made it so special. Meadows, too, recognized the significance of the scene, noting, it was a turning point for our show. It showed that we could do more than just make people laugh. We could make them feel something, too. The manhole cover scene is just one example of the many iconic moments from the Honeymooners. 
Through masterful direction, powerful performances, and innovative cinematography, the show continues to resonate with audiences today. Looking at a man that is only six months to live. All right, but what's your story? <laughs> the Honeymooners, a 1950s TV series, left a significant cultural and social impact. Starring Jackie Gleason, Art Carney, Audrey Meadows, and Joyce Randolph, the show resonated with audiences due to its relatable characters and humor. The series revolved around the lives of two working-class couples living in Brooklyn, New York, which struck a chord with middle-class families. The Honeymooners was one of the first shows to depict the struggles and dreams of the average American. The characters' financial struggles, marital spats, and friendship were all too familiar for the audience. This authenticity contributed to the show's popularity and made it a reflection of American life during that era. The series also influenced pop culture in various ways. The catchphrases, baby, you're the greatest, and to the moon, Alice, became part of everyday vernacular. Moreover, the show's iconic characters, such as Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton, have been referenced and parodied in numerous TV shows, movies, and commercials. The Honeymooners also played a role in discussions on relevant social and cultural themes Although the show did not overtly address social issues, it provided a platform for exploring class dynamics. The characters' working class backgrounds and aspirations for upward mobility reflected the American dream, a cultural theme that has been a part of the country's fabric for centuries. In conclusion, The Honeymooners left an indelible mark on American television and culture. Its authentic portrayal of working class families, relatable characters, and catchy catchphrases have made it a timeless classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. Not going to die! You mean never? <laughs> I don't mean never! The Honeymooners, a 1955 TV series, received critical acclaim for its groundbreaking humor and memorable characters. The show starred Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden, Art Carney as Ed Norton, Audrey Meadows as Alice Cramden, and Joyce Randolph as Trixie Norton. Noted TV critic Cleveland Amory praised the show in his review for the Saturday Review, stating, The Honeymooners is the best comedy on the air. Amory commended the show's believable characters and real-life situations, which he believes set it apart from other comedies of the time. Audiences also responded positively to the show. The Honeymooners quickly became a cultural phenomenon, with its characters and catchphrases becoming part of the American lexicon. The show's iconic status was cemented when it was ranked number three on TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV shows of all time in 20. The Honeymooners received several award nominations, including four Primetime Emmy nominations in 1956 for Outstanding Comedy Series, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series, and Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series. Although the show did not win any Emmys, the nominations themselves were a testament to the show's impact and influence. The accolades received by the Honeymooners were well-deserved. The show's innovative approach to comedy and its memorable characters have left a lasting impact on the television industry. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its quality and relevance even decades after its initial release. The nomination and positive critical reception that the Honeymooners received were significant for those involved in the show. For Jackie Gleason, the success of the Honeymooners solidified his status as a comedy legend. Art Carney's nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series was a well-deserved recognition of his talent and versatility as an actor. The show's writers, who were also nominated for an Emmy, were praised for their ability to create believable and relatable characters and situations. In conclusion, The Honeymooners was a groundbreaking TV series that received critical acclaim and a positive audience reaction. The show's impact on the television industry and its enduring popularity are a testament to its quality and relevance. The accolades received by the show were well-deserved and significant for those involved in its creation. You are making a slight mistake. Yeah. During the making of The Honeymooners in 1955, Jackie Gleason, who played Ralph Cramden, was known for his generosity. He often gave expensive gifts to the cast and crew, including a mink coat for Audrey Meadows, who played his wife, Ellis. Art Carney, who played Ed Norton, had a unique way of getting into character. He would spend hours before each shoot perfecting Norton's distinctive walk and mannerisms. His dedication paid off, earning him an Emmy for his performance. Behind the scenes, the relationship between Gleason and Meadows was not always smooth. Gleason initially wanted to cast Perk Kelton as Alice, but when she became unavailable due to health issues, Meadows stepped in. Gleason was hesitant at first, but Meadows won him over with her professionalism and talent. 
The show was filmed live, adding to the pressure and excitement of each episode. The cast had to memorize their lines perfectly and hit their marks on stage. Despite the challenges, they managed to create a beloved classic that still resonates with audiences today. One memorable moment occurred during the filming of the episode The Sleepwalker. Carney accidentally hit a real light bulb with a broom handle, causing it to shatter and cut his hand. Without missing a beat, he continued the scene, only revealing his injury once the cameras stopped rolling. Despite its short run, The Honeymooners left a lasting impact on television history. Its portrayal of working-class New Yorkers struggling to make ends meet struck a chord with audiences, and its catchphrases and characters have become iconic. In the end, the success of The Honeymooners can be attributed to the talent and dedication of its cast and crew. From Gleason's generosity to Carney's commitment to his character, each member brought something special to the show, creating a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain. Hey, thanks, Crampton. Thanks a lot. Here's your receipt. <laughs> Keep it yourself. Well, thanks again. All right, Grove. The Honeymooners, a groundbreaking 1950s television series, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Starring Jackie Gleason, Art Carney, Audrey Meadows, and Joyce Randolph, the show introduced a new level of realism and humor to the sitcom genre. Premiering in October 1955, The Honeymooners followed the lives of two working-class couples living in Brooklyn, New York. The show's relatable characters, witty dialogue, and timeless humor quickly captured the hearts of audiences. The Honeymooners' influence can be seen in numerous subsequent television shows and films. Its innovative use of humor and character development paved the way for modern sitcoms like All in the Family, The Simpsons, and Everybody Loves Raymond. Moreover, the show's impact extends beyond television. The Honeymooners has inspired various stage productions, including a successful Broadway musical and numerous live performances. The show's iconic characters, such as Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton, have become cultural touchstones. Their memorable catchphrases and comedic antics continue to resonate with audiences even today. In addition, The Honeymooners has inspired numerous parodies and homages in popular culture. From Saturday Night Live sketches to Looney Tunes cartoons, the show's influence can be seen in various forms of media. In conclusion, The Honeymooners' legacy and influence continue to shape the world of entertainment. Its innovative approach to humor and character development has left a lasting impact on filmmaking and television production. Did you know that The Honeymooners, a beloved TV series from 1955, still holds a special place in many hearts today? If you have fond memories of watching this classic show, we'd love to hear from you. Share your favorite moments, characters, or episodes in the comments below. How did this series make you laugh, or perhaps even cry? Did any of the storylines or themes particularly resonate with you? We're also curious about how The Honeymooners may have influenced your perspective on cinema. Did it inspire you to explore other comedies or TV shows? Or maybe it made you appreciate the art of physical comedy and facial expressions, since the show often relied on those elements. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic exploration. We're excited to engage with you and learn about your personal connections to this iconic series. So, let's get the conversation started. What does The Honeymooners mean to you? You just adore it when she insults me in front of you. You listen to me, Ralph. You can stand on your head, my...